In a small American town, a young Jack Lucas, barely 14, desperately wanted to enlist in the military. He forged his mother's signature on a document, determined to join the brave. During the Battle of Iwo Jima, Jack was serving in the Marines when his unit came under heavy attack. They were creeping towards an enemy airstrip when they spotted enemy soldiers. Both sides opened fire. The enemy threw two grenades in front of them. Jack yelled, grenade. He jumped and dug for them, jamming one of them with his rifle and covering it with his body while reaching out and pulling the other one back. One grenade exploded, tossing him onto his back and severely wounding his arm, wrist, leg, thigh, and chest. He was still conscious and barely alive after the blast, holding in his left hand the other grenade, which did not explode. Enemy soldiers were all killed. His comrades were unharmed believing he was dead they left him. Jack was found by another unit passing by. He was evacuated and treated. He had 21 surgeries. 200 pieces of metal remained in his body. They didn't know that they had left behind a hero in the making, a young man who would defy death itself to rise again and inspire a nation. Jack was presented the Medal of Honor in front of over 1,000 people, including Marines. On that day he said to have these young men here. It just rejuvenates this old heart of mine. I love the Corps even more knowing that my country is defended by such fine young people.